Welcome back. In the previous module, we looked at plan scheme. As part of this module, we are going to look at risk theme. The purpose of risk theme is to identify, assess and control uncertainty and as a result, improve the ability of the project to succeed. The management of risk should be systematic. It should be proactive, identification, assessment and control of risk. Aim should be to support decision making through a good understanding of risks. Management of risk should be performed throughout the life of the project. A risk is an uncertain event or set of events that should it occur will have an effect on the achievement of objectives. Depends on probability and impact. Threat refers to negative impact, opportunity refers to positive impact. In the project context, it is the project's objectives that are at risk. As risks are uncertain events, they may occur at strategic level, program level, project level or operational level as depicted in the diagram. Risk management. Risk management is the systematic application of procedures to the tasks of identifying and assessing the risks and then planning and implementing risk responses and communicating risk management activities with stakeholders. Risk should be identified, assessed, controlled throughout the project life cycle. For effective risk management, risks that might affect achievement of objectives need to be identified, captured and described. Each risks need to be assessed to understand its probability, impact and timing so that it can be prioritized. The overall risk exposure needs to be kept under review. Responses to each risk need to be planned and assigned to the people to action and to own risk responses need to be implemented, monitored and controlled. Risk exposure refers to the extent of risk borne by organization at the time of assessment. Risk appetite is an organization unique attitude towards risk. Risk budget is a part of project budget set aside to fund specific management responses to risks, full analysis of each risk, impact cost, response cost and likelihood. Aggregate the cost and weigh them by each risk's probability. Risk management approach defines mechanism for control of and access to risk budget. Actual amount allocated in appropriate plan that is project plan and or stage plan. Princeton's minimum requirement for risk theme are defining risk management approach, maintaining some form of risk register, ensuring that project risks are identified assessed, managed and reviewed throughout the project life cycle. Uses lessons to inform risk identification and management. Risk management approach. The purpose of risk management approach is to describe how risks will be managed on the project. It includes the specific processes, procedures, techniques, standards and responsibilities to be applied. Risk management approach should capture introduction, risk management procedure, tools and techniques, records, reporting, timing of risk management activities, roles and responsibilities, scales for probability and impact, proximity, risk categories, risk response categories, early warning indicators, risk tolerance, risk budget, whether risk budget will be established and if so, how it will be used. Risk register. The purpose of risk register is to provide a record of identified risks relating to the project including the status and history. It is used to capture and maintain information on all of the identified threats and opportunities relating to the project. Risk register comprises of risk identifier, risk author, date registered, risk category, risk description probability, impact and expected value, proximity, risk response categories, risk response, risk status, risk owner and risk actioning. Risk management procedure. Risk management procedure includes identify, assess, plan, implement and communicate. Prince 2 recommends but not mandate a risk management procedure based on Management of Risk Guidance for Practitioners from Office of Government Commerce 2010. 
identify step includes identify context and identify risks. Identify context steps obtain information about the project in order to understand the specific objectives that are at risks and to formulate an appropriate risk management approach. The following will have an influence on the project risk management approach. That is customer quality expectations, number of organizations involved and the relationship between them, the needs of the stakeholders involved with the project, the importance, complexity and scale of the project, the delivery approach being used, what assumptions have been made the organization's own environment, example legislative or governance requirements, corporate policies, standards, processes and procedures, whether the project is part of program or corporate portfolio. This information will be derived from the project mandate, the project brief and the project product description. Identify risk. Risk can and should be identified at any time during the management and delivery of the project. Any member of the project, corporate or program management, the customer or the stakeholder may raise an issue or risks. Princeton recommends that risks are captured in the risk register as soon as they are identified. Risk description. Risk description is a useful way of expressing risk is to consider following aspects of each risks. That is risk cause, risk event and risk effect. Risk cause. This should describe the source of risk, that is the event or situation that gives rise to the risk. These are often referred to as risk drivers. They are not risks in themselves, but the potential trigger points of the risks. These may be either internal or external to the project. Risk event. This should describe the area of uncertainty in terms of the threat or the opportunity. Risk effect. This should describe the impacts that the risk would have on the project objectives and should the risk materialize. The cause, event and effect relationship could also be expressed. HASIS step includes estimation and evaluation of risks. Estimate the probability of threats and opportunities, the impact of each threat and opportunities, the proximity of the threats and opportunities, how the impact may change over the life of the project whether the project team is best placed to manage the risks. Evaluate refers to the combined effect of the individual risks needs to be understood to determine if the overall risk exposure of the project remains within the risk appetite determined by the organization and as interpreted and applied by the project board. If the risk exposure is greater than the organization's risk appetite, then control actions will need to be planned in response. Risk appetite and risk tolerances should also be evaluated where risk appetite refers to an unique attitude towards risk taking that in turn dictates the amount of risk that it considers acceptable by an organization. Risk tolerance is the threshold levels of the risk exposure that the appropriate approvals can be exceeded but which when exceeded will trigger some form of responses. The plan step involves identifying and evaluating the appropriate risk response to remove or reduce threats and maximize opportunities. Risk response for opportunity risks are exploit, enhance, transfer, share, accept and prepare contingent plan. Every risk response implemented will have a residual risk. Residual risk is a risk when a threat is reduced rather than removed, the remaining risk is called residual risk. Secondary risk is a risk when the response to the risk result in change to some aspect of the project, it may lead to secondary risk. Implement step ensures that the planned risk responses are actioned, their effectiveness is monitored and corrective action taken if required. Ensure that there are clear roles and responsibilities allocated. Risk owner manages all the aspects of a risk. Risk action E carries out risk response actions to respond to a particular risk or a set of risks. Same person may perform both the roles. Allocating too many risks to one person should be avoided. As part of communicate step, communication happens to all internal and external stakeholders through checkpoint reports, highlight reports, end stage reports, end project reports and exception report. 
key aspects of communicate steps are continuously identify new risks and remove risks that are no more relevant encourage all stakeholders to participate during communication just to summarize as part of this module we went through risk theme which spoke about describing the risk risk management risk responses risk register and risk management procedure in the next module we are going to look at change theme hope to see you there